Have we got ourselves another 28 days later, but in one take? I think so. Let's talk about it. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to a spoiler-filled discussion of Mads, the newest film on Shudder, directed by David Moreau. All right, guys. Uh, so it's been quite a year of horror films. Uh, once again, this will be a spoiler discussion. It's uh, been pretty crazy, to be fairly honest. Because every time I turn around, I'm like, oh, I wonder if this horror film is going to be good. And you know what? It ends up being amazing. And that's pretty impressive stuff. So here we have a brand new film from David Moreau, who is a French director. This is a French uh, horror film. And the thing about this movie is it's a one-take horror movie. Now, what that technically means is that it, look, it could look like a one-take where there's no cuts. But if you look at something like 1917, there are cuts in there. But when it comes to, like... Um, uh films from other countries they tend to want to go one step farther and actually do a one take type of film or something that we may kind of cut corners on so with this movie that's exactly what it is it's one single take it's an hour and 28 minutes and it's about uh, a, a guy who uh takes uh, a new experimental drug and he comes across uh as he leaves his dealer across this woman who is bandaged up and kind of in in problem I mean, there's problems with her and stuff like that you know and then on top of everything she kills herself and he, she bleeds on him and uh this movie ends up becoming a story about romaine who's our main character at the beginning it also follows of course julia and anias who are the two women that he knows and uh this movie leads down a 28 days later path where things start to go out of control for the three individuals, Romaine starts to have, uh, exhibit uh, ideas of like uh, vampirism and stuff like that, and the idea of like, you know, going insane, like in 28 Days Later. Then Julia comes along, and the same thing happens to her. Uh, one of the characters is pregnant from, you know, Romaine. I think it's Anais' character. And they start, to, we start to see a world start to fall slowly apart as people become more and more infected. And then, of course, on top of everything, you have this group of mercenaries who are trying to stop everything. And so therefore, they're killing people and so on and so forth. And so that's the story. Like, we follow these three characters. One character ends up disappearing as they take him away. Uh, Julia's character becomes, uh, she becomes one of those infected people. And we start to see kind of her slow descent into madness as she starts to, like, she gets shot, but she's able to move forward. And she just, all kinds of things happen. And then we follow Anais' character who basically escapes Julia as they, she tries to save her. And then, of course, we see that I, or Julia's character uh, starts to inhibit the infected and so that's what this movie entails that's what kind of synopsis is and once again shutter is a fantastic service to be fairly honest it is in the same realm as the same company that does amc networks and ifc midnight and stuff like that it's a, it's a company that really likes to exhibit really interesting and thought-provoking horror films and you saw that you know with that spanish horror film that i can't remember the name of unfortunately right now that i saw last year that i thought was fantastic and so going into this not knowing much about it unfortunately you know david morrell did of course do the remake of the eye which was a terrible movie i heard the great things about it i i when i hear great things about horror films that are unique i always want to check them out because they really do do an interesting thing and french horror films have been kind of a interesting kind of way of doing horror and the way they 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 interpret things in a lot of respects so if you don't like subtitle horror films this might not be for you but if you want interesting uh, thought-provoking horror films uh this may be up your alley and so i was really looking forward to i'm not really looking forward to this when i heard about how good it was i was i was excited to watch this and so here it is this movie's finally on shutter in my honest opinion is once again horror films are just top notch right now in 2024 i mean it's been kind of leaning towards that for quite a while but the fact that they're taking horror horror films and they're doing stuff like a one take horror film or they're doing a thing where they're 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 going off tropes that are very familiar but they're doing really interesting things with those tropes for instance that like i said that spanish horror film that i saw last year or the year before one of the two and i really got to say that that's awesome it really is there is so many cool things in this movie that it becomes kind of uh, overwhelming to be fairly honest and not necessarily in a bad way it just becomes overwhelming in the simple fact that it because it's a one take because you're watching guy go from one location to the other then you follow another character and another character it never becomes confusing but those set pieces and the amount of kind of uh work they had to put into it and the kind of the ideas they had to put into it it's really well executed it really is there's never a point 
where I was confused, but I was overwhelmed because so many things were happening and so much kind of chaos and uncomfortableness and just how it, how David Moreau and his people just kind of played the story along, moving it into a very low budget, very accessible movie, but build up the tension more and more as it goes along. This really feels like something that could happen if a virus spread like, you know, COVID did. It starts out slowly and then it just builds and builds and builds and builds. If you ever play Katamari uh, Damacy or however you say that name, there's that game is where it kind of builds and builds and builds. And I really appreciate that. I thought that was really cool. I like the fact that though Romaine is walking through this this you know party scene and he's infecting slowly people and then you know for the longest time i thought maybe it was like a drug trip where the drug that because he takes at the beginning is very experimental and it becomes much much more than that because you know once they have the people fighting like, like chasing after him and shooting him and killing him you start to realize that the drug isn't really the thing it's the virus and it, i mean you could kind of if you think about it like think about what 28 days later is doing with the idea of like how pandemics and situations get out of control Control when they don't have the right people when one like for instance we can go back to covid where one person got infected then another person got infected they just became an out of control mess and i think there's some allegory or some you know analogies that are here that kind of lean into that kind of thing because once again how this situation happens is one person in possibly a lab or whatever happens, it's never fully explained, it just affects another person and then it affects another person and then it affects more people and it just becomes a crazy, crazy thing. And I just really love the fact that, you know, they how they introduce the characters in this movie, the main characters, is really fascinating. I love the way this movie opens and I love the overarching narrative of how this movie just kind of operates and the fact that it doesn't need to throw everything at the wall to you. It slowly allows you to build the understanding it still allows you to think as the movie moves along, you know, for instance, when, you know, Romaine sees the woman, she's dead, and then he finds Julia's character, who is his girlfriend, they go to a party, and then things start to go out of control, I love, love the mask that he ends up wearing, is like different eyes and stuff like that, I kind, of, I, I kind of wonder if that's kind of like a play on his mind and his uh, mindset, and then you see Julia and Anais smoking, or taking cocaine or whatever, and then... We learn that Anais is pregnant and that kind of goes out of control and Romaine starts to kind of garner out of control with his with his like idea like how he acts he's biting his hand and he tries to race home he brutally beats up some guy and you know the the woman that if, if initially affected him gets shot and killed and then they chase after him and it keeps going and going and going i know i've kind of talked a little bit about that before but to watch that slowly build and to watch that slowly play out and to watch it you know go from where he's officially taken and then it like the the vehicle actually almost hits Julia, and then we follow Julia for most of the movie, and we see her being chased after by the mercenaries, and we see her you know run into a club, and you know we see the blood coming out of her, which gets of course into the bar area, and it just and then it moves on to where she runs into Anias, and then she starts trying to attack Anias, and it's really creative stuff, and it really is well well done, and once again proves that you can take a simple premise that's been done before because this is very similar to 28 days later where 28 days later was a much more theatrical experience in the sense that it, it time it was very quick but here it's 28 or 88 minutes and you slowly watch everything kind of devolve into madness and it gets to the very end where Anias is just covered in blood but you know the mercenaries realize she's not bit or she's not infected and they give her the gun and then the mercenary gets bit and then shoots themselves in the head and you watch Anias just kind of laugh at the end because you realize that I think once again I think she's the one that's pregnant and she's in a world where everything's collapsing because of this one situation and uh, <laughs> it leads to her laughing because she realizes she has to deal with the situation at hand and it very much leads into like a quiet place and once again 28 days later which i feel this is very closely like almost like a relative to in the sense of like what these characters inhibit they're very much like zo not zombies more vampirish in a lot of respects uh the zombies but they inhibit like that you know really kind of crazed neurotic insanity that it, it portrays but once again it really is a story about you know addiction 
as it always is these movies and the the nature of like how addiction can spread to one person and it can spread to another and so on and so forth it can be out of control it can you know it can be an allegory to aids or the covid virus or any of these of these natures that's what horror films do they're always analogies or allegories or however you want to put it to something real world that's why horror films are so unique in that aspect that you don't get a lot of times so that's really really cool so but yeah that's kind of where i'm going to leave my spoiler to fill discussion once again as the movie moves along things become more and more out of control it becomes more and more violent it becomes more and more spread and people die in very horrifying fashions but it's about containing the virus that is going out of control so you know covid a lot of respect so there you go anyways uh with that said that is gonna be my spoiler filled discussion of mads which is once again now on uh shutter so definitely check it out Ch subscribe to shutter because it's such worth uh, the price of admission so uh anyways uh, that'll do it thank you so much for watching if you have seen mads what do you think of it overall what do you do you feel like there's something different that could be ex like explored about what this movie could be about but you know as always let me know i'll be interested to see what you guys take on it so with that said thank you so much for watching if you like what you see on this channel hit the subscribe button the join movie emporium hit that notification bell top the fun's coming next if you like this video awesome hit that like button and as always we'll see you guys on the next video peace out guys